Howdy, everyone. Yeah, so, okay. <laughs> the PlayStation Mini, that's what we're playing this on, because that's the only thing that I own Metal Gear on. Um, I forgot that it has an audio problem with my capture card. So that's annoying. Uh, like I said, I know a fix for it. The, the downside is, is that we only get mono on Shadow audio Moses Island, <laughs> whenever I do the fix. Fox Archipelago so it's working. Captured by next generation also need to turn it down a little bit, I think. But uh, anyways, it, it's working. So, yay. But we, I had to set the game to, to mono to get it, you know, so that things don't sound weird. Uh, basically, it's some devices. I don't know what exactly is wrong with it. I know the old upscaler that I used had the same problem until a firmware update fixed it um, on the, the upscaler side. It's like they don't output quite to spec audio or something. Some of the mini consoles and that one particular upscaler and whatnot, most devices can handle it just fine. But for whatever reason, my capture card doesn't <laughs> like it. But only the HDMI audio that it sends to the computer. The headphone jack on the uh, capture card itself works A-OK. -okay. <laughs> so what I have to do is I have to take the headphone jack and run it into a mic port. I actually, I might be able to get stereo sound if I route it to an input jack on my computer. Give me one more sec. I'm gonna leave the gameplay running here. I'm going to just unplug it from the mic jack on the, on the uh, capture card and, and try plugging it into the input jack on the back of my computer. Cause then we might be able to get stereo sound, which would be A-OK -okay by me. Okay, so now, in theory, oh shit, well, that's a problem, Twitch is down, <laughs> my internet's still working, right, let me double check, I mean you guys, I don't even think you guys can hear me right now, but, Just barely. Yeah, I think Twitch is having some trouble. It's not me. No, I, I didn't. That's why I said something's... I think Twitch is having some trouble. My upload speed's just fine. Well, let's try... Did it reconnect finally? I think it reconnected finally. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> this is going well, man. That wasn't on my end. I think that might have been a Twitch thing or something. But um, I did get that plugged in. So maybe if we're lucky. <laughs> God. 
god things are going well around here let me pull up my audio settings real quick i can't do anything about the twitch thing sadly but okay recording line in enable and listen to this device there we go so i can hear now now i just need to get it so you guys can hear and then we should actually be good to go and if i'm not mistaken yes okay line in is stereo perfect so now will obs allow me to do that i don't know Okay, mic three. Settings. If not, I can just enable desktop audio, I guess. That's another way to do it, but I'd prefer. There we go. Okay, so hopefully now you guys can hear the game. It should be stereo. That's good. As long as Twitch doesn't disconnect us again, we're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking play some Metal Gear, shall we? Now that, you know, it's been 15, 20 minutes. Oh, boy. I always love whenever there's there's problems. Oh, circle is select, not X. That's going to take a second to get used to. Okay. Turn that on stereo. We should hopefully have stereo now. I hear things in both ears. That's good. Is it? Is it? Does it sound okay to you guys though? Like, is it super fuzzy or anything, or does it sound all right? Sounds okay? All right. I don't normally do capture like this, so please do let me know if there's any problems, but hopefully, hopefully everything will be a-okay. I do see that there's some fuzz coming through. I don't think there's a whole lot I can do about that with the way I have to currently set up, do the setup, but... Let's just get the game started, shall we? May just be the game, possibly. I have no idea. Stay alert. He'll be through here. I know it. I'm going to swap down a couple of bombers and flies. I know the the cable I'm using to to connect the uh to connect the the output on the capture card to the input of my computer isn't exactly the best cable but it's the only way to not have the sound just be all a garbled mess so kind of is what it is i suppose this is snake colonel can you hear me loud and clear what's the situation snake looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up just as i expected you'll have to take the elevator to the surface but make sure nobody sees you if you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. Select, need to got contact it. contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. Select, got it. The codec's it. receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. So how, like, 
I'm curious how the controls are going to work compared to the other game. Also, it's weird how the screen is, like, squished. Oh, you know what it is? It's because... Yeah, it's outputting... Since I'm using the PlayStation Mini, it's outputting in... Uh, 16 by 9. So I need to turn off my scaler. down by pressing the crawl button and then use the directional button to crawl in the direction you want be careful though crawling is slow and you can't attack when you're doing it either you can good info up by pressing the crawl button again what's the crawl button though okay left i don't know 200 that actually looks like it might be pretty close hold on take it down a little bit take it back up 186 Assuming it's centered, that should be good. That should be good. And then... 25? Yeah, 25 looks okay. We might be cutting a tiny bit off the top and bottom, but it shouldn't be that big video. There we go. Now it's filling up the whole screen. Okay, so we have to crawl. X is crouch. Square? I have no idea what the hell that is. That's first person view. Oh, so we, we press X and then move. That makes sense. I'm assuming this dude here ain't gonna see us. Got the mini-map similar to the last one. That's helpful. Wait, they can see me? <laughs> uh, excuse me? <laughs> I'll be honest. I <laughs> Good. Good. I, I didn't think... <laughs> oh, God. All right. I thought we were behind cover there. I didn't realize they could see us. There is no crouch walking until four. No shit. So crouch just initiates prone. That makes sense, I suppose. Okay, wait for this guy to turn around or do whatever he's gonna do. And then... I guess maybe stay in the shadows. Can we change our anything? We have a scope. We have cigarettes, of course. We have no weapons or anything, so pure stealth right now. I'm thinking he's going to end up turning around. Oh. We were making noise in the water. That actually makes a lot of sense. Okay, which way is that guy going to go? that way push select okay snake there's an elevator there you can take up to the ground you'll just have to wait for the elevator to come down you better hide somewhere okay so we have no choice but hide is there ooh a ration that's i'm assuming that's still health right the game it's got to be pretty pretty similar to uh, to Metal Gear Solid 2, the one that we played. It looks like holding a direction against a wall still initiates. I don't I don't know what you'd call it. Cover the cover system for the game. Okay, the elevator's not down yet, so we're still just hiding. Nicely job. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not completely useless, I like to think, sometimes. Hey, Noodle. Love, if you can hear me um, and y you have a moment, I could use some water. I forgot to fill up my cup before I came up. I feel like we should be doing something here, but they said just hide and wait for the elevator, so... Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! Uh... That wasn't a very good hiding spot. <laughs> uh... I don't, I don't think I can lose these guys. 
Oh god. Can I can I run faster? <laughs> Is it possible to run faster? I think I am running a little bit quicker than they are. I was in evasion mode there for just a second. Okay. Obviously we need to pay more attention to our to our mini map. Oh good, and there's the elevator too. Perfect timing, because if we stayed here much longer, I think I would have died. Hey, hydrate! I actually did. Oh, God, my mic's flying away. Today's going really well for me, in case that wasn't clear. <laughs> I have I have a little bit of clear American liquid. That's what I... I took a drink of that. Okay. That guy's gone. I'm assuming we just hop on the elevator and GTFO. Excellent. There we go. We made it through the very first area and we only died once. I'm kind of happy with that. Noodle brought the jug of water up here. Oh, God. <laughs> Try not to dump it on the expensive stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was very upset by the way whenever I first set up my uh, PlayStation Mini for the day I was like I have a PS2 to uh, USB adapter right and the PlayStation Mini just uses USB for anyone who doesn't know so I plugged in the controller booted up the PS1 Mini and sure enough it popped up it looked like it was gonna work it didn't say anything about a controller not being connected I was able to switch between the games and things with the D-pad, and it worked just fine. I was like, hell yeah, dude. And I was like, I should probably double-check the options just to make sure I don't need to change anything. And I click X, nothing. I click triangle to get to the help screen, nothing. The only fucking thing that worked on the controller when using it that way was the D-pad. I was so upset, man. I was really kind of hoping I could use the PS2 controller, both because, one, I have an extension cord for it, so it's just kind of convenient. Um... I can have it, you know, sitting halfway across the room without a problem. And two, I, I like the PS2 controller better than the original PS1 style controller that came with the Mini. I have no idea if this game supports the analog sticks or not, but it's also kind of nice having the analog sticks. It's Snake, I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Okay, so we're in Alaska. This, uh, I, I remember snippets oh, from Metal Gear Solid 2 of some of the things they were mentioning. The Russian gunship doing here. Of course, it's the Russians no again. Idea, but it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. It's always the damn Russians. Helicopters seem like magic to me, man. I'm not gonna lie. Like, more so than airplanes. Airplanes, I can wrap my head around. But just, like, having a giant fan strapped to something and that making it lift up into the air makes, like, no sense to me. I, I don't know what it is, man. Helicopters are wicked. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow. You must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. Already a legend. Nice to know. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class <laughs> designer of military technology to be so uh. cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. 
Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Oh Come my god, on. Snake. <laughs> I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous solid Snake. Is this really the time, bro? Uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a train killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Solitan radar system. Okay. Please do. Tell the us right all about it, Mei Ling. You, Snake. The red dots are your enemies. And the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. It's a hell of a radar careful, system. Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can How? From about the terrorists. How? If he's alive, that is. How did you inject him with the same nanomachine GPS system that we're injected with? Like, <laughs> or is that just standard issue for high-ranking officers? Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also We just got a whole party mission. going on here, don't we? Contact Holy shit. me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Oh, I'll try not to, Remember, <laughs> but I probably will. Binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. <laughs> by the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smoke <laughs> out the my The fucking smokes. 90s, man. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. God damn. <laughs> oh, I was expecting something a little different than door. stomach, to be honest. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. I mean, you could. Uh, you just gotta left, <laughs> roll a crit on, on right. that uh, deception check. Armed with five, five, sixers, pineapples. What the hell's a pineapple? Five, five, six. I mean. That's a that's a a caliber of, of rifle, right? But a uh, fucking pineapple? I don't think that's a fruit. I thought. There should also be a duct on the second floor. Behind that guy, so we could maybe distract him and then sneak I in there. See it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. All right, we'll figure something out, maybe. Okay. So we move with the the D-pad. X is crouch. Square. I'm assuming that has something to do with attacking. Although right now we can't do shit with it. Triangles first person. Circle is melee. Good to know. Good to know. And best I can tell, there's no way to change the the radar, like zoom it out or anything like that. We can pause. We can go. Oh, shit. We actually had to remember the saving frequency. Or does it have if we go down to memory? Okay, okay. Thank God. Because <laughs> if I actually had to memorize that, man, we'd probably be in some trouble. I'm not exactly known for having a good memory. Alright, so first thing we probably need to do is get around those. I'm assuming stepping in the light would be a bad move. But... It appears as though we can run up right here. I want to get whatever the hell that is in the middle. I don't know what it is, but I feel like it could be helpful. Oh, wait. Someone's coming. 
Oh shit, someone's coming. Oh fuck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I didn't realize someone was gonna come up this way. I mean, it totally makes sense that they would, but... It sucks that we can't see where people are while we're in the invasion mode. Again, makes sense, but... Okay, crouch. There we go, we're good. I still kind of want to get whatever that was in the middle, though. It looked like it might have been munitions or something, and, and having a gun could be very helpful. Okay, so what, what rotation are we on? Can I run out there? No. So this is my this is my time to run. Now. Oh god. <laughs> Man, they really make you cut that close, huh? Okay, so we got something. Oh, the SOCOM. Yeah, that's a gun too. Oh, the other one's not even a gun. It's a chaff G. Disables electronics. So a EMP grenade. Okay. We got a gun. I think it said press square to aim, release to fire. Is there any way to not shoot the gun in this game like there is in uh, in Metal Gear Solid 2? Like, do you slowly release the, the button to not fire like you do in that one? Or is it something different in this one? It's not silence. That's actually a really good call out. So we're only really going to want to use that if if absolutely necessary. Okay. It feels like that air duct to the left over here seems like it may be one of our better bets. You don't remember, actually? I want to try it, but at the same time, I, I don't want to get fucked. A surveillance camera? Is there a way to disable it? There's gotta be. What if I shoot it? If I shoot it though, it's gonna be- Oh wait, I have those grenades that disable electronics. Duh. Now the question is, does that hurt me? <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm assuming chaff? Yeah, thank you. I'm assuming that since it's just an electronics one, it won't damage me, but... Some stun grenades. Very cool. It's a little loud. Can you climb up? Mm. I'm guessing no. Yeah, it doesn't seem like you can climb things. Oh, you can knock on walls. That's neat. Okay, I, I actually... <laughs> snake? I just want to go outside, bud. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to stay there anymore. Okay, this guy shouldn't come this far up. He should stop, turn, and... Either go back or to the right. What's he do? Go to the right. So now's probably the time to try and run... Maybe not, actually. <laughs> Can we run past him? Yes. But I think there's another security camera up here. We could throw another chaff, but that dude's definitely going to hear that. If we do. I'm hoping we're outside his line of sight here, since we're up against the wall. Don't move. Don't make any noise. G fucking G. Okay, wait for him to move a little bit. Uh, okay. I don't know if that's going to be close enough. It is. What was that noise? You didn't hear anything. Push to select. What are we... Campbell? Do we want to talk to... Oh, fuck. 
Oh god, get in the damn vent! <laughs> Quickly! Holy shit, dude. Okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> oh my god. Thank god that worked, man. <laughs> I, I was trying to answer the damn call, but I don't, I don't think that was the best idea. Not, not when we were being chased. Suddenly we're playing a uh, classic dungeon crawling game. Speaking of, man, one of these days I want to play the Persona games. I think I've mentioned that before on stream, but like, I really do. I hear footsteps. Also, why is there food in the vents? Damn rats. Hey, what's up, Patty? Okay, I hear footsteps, so I'm fairly certain there's people out here. Is it possible for me to pop this open? Well, there's the person that I was just curious about. No, it doesn't seem like it. Kill them all? That usually seems like a bad idea in Metal Gear. I'm sure it's possible, but they do a lot of damage really quickly. <laughs> Speaking of, we should probably eat some food food. Use by pressing circle while the menu is open. There we go. Okay, there's a vent here too, so can't get out there, I don't think. Unless we have to, like, shoot it with the gun or something, but just stealth kill them all. Right now, we don't even have a silenced weapon. Oh, hey. There literally are rats in here. Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, Howdy. what are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've Please lived in do. Alaska longer than do you, tell. so call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Those mice are Alaskan field mice. Don't worry, they can't hurt you. Wild field mice don't have a thick layer of fat, but they can still survive the bitter winters here without hibernating. They dig kind of impressive. under the snow. That's where they stay warm. Survival specialists, huh? I should learn from them. But there's a dark side too. Sometimes the males will kill and eat offspring. That's Why are you telling own. us all this? To ensure the survival <laughs> of their own genes, right? Yeah. Pretty brilliant program, huh? If there are mice, that means there must be an exit somewhere. Follow the mice. That's the point you're getting to. Okay. The mice know the way out. Got it. Wait, did I just turn around? It's really hard to see in this dark ass thing. Do we have a light? Oh, it goes down. We're underwater. Uh, swim. Swim fast, please. <laughs> Why is this vent filled with water? This doesn't seem right. You might want to have your ducks uh, checked out. I don't know. Try smoking. Smoking is hazardous to your health. How? I mean, I know how they're hazardous to your health, but... <laughs> I, don't, I don't think we can smoke. Or do you mean try smoking underwater? Oh, cool. We can equip and unequip with L1, R1. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't think we can smoke in the vent. Unless you meant try smoking underwater. You thought it might make light. Oh. That would make some sense, I guess. At least, you know, point out the lighter to light it and whatnot. I'm surprised, like, we don't even have a flashlight. Which actually brings me to a question. Why the hell did they completely strip us before sending us on this mission? Like, obviously, they don't have a problem with us having guns. They straight up told us, like, hey, find some weapons and use them. 
So why the hell did they take our weapons? <laughs> Could have at least let us keep a pistol or something, man. Okay, there's two guys at least. Smoking is hurting you, though. Oh, I was wondering why my life bar was flashing. I didn't realize just by having it equipped we were, you know, smoking. <laughs> okay, I'm assuming you're going to walk around that way, or are you going to turn back around and come this way? I can't use my radar while in here, so I have no idea what's going on, man. Those footsteps sound pretty far away. I'm tempted to hop out, but okay. He's over there. I don't know where the other one is. Is this really the best time to be calling, man? Use the elevator to change floors. There should be That's what elevators do, yeah. You can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. Hey, I'm I'm guessing the elevator is going to be around the back of the room. Oop, this guy's coming this way. He's going to turn, right? Yes, okay. I'm assuming the, the red doors are locked. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I can... Ooh, God. Didn't mean to knock. Snake, use the elevator. I would love to. How? Press the button on the nearby control panel by pressing the action button. The elevator should show up in no time. So we probably have to unequip our gun. Oh, circle. Circle. Okay. Please be quick. Thank you. It's a big-ass elevator. I mean, they did say it was a cargo elevator, I suppose. Um, can I select a floor? Shit. Game, please. I don't know. Let's go to the bottom floor. I-3-2? Whatever the hell that means. So these look like some sort of storage things. What's our... Fuck. What's our actual mission here? Is there any way to see that? B-2? Oh, was that a B? It looked like I-32. <laughs> no, press the button. Is there not a button? Oh, shit. I knocked. I shouldn't have knocked. I didn't mean to knock. No, I guess we can't actually open these. This one's open, though. Some more bullets. Nice. No smoking. What happens if we smoke in here? Does it set off some sort of alarm or something? Oh, dude. More fucking bullets. We'll take it. I wait for these guys to pass. And then just on to the next room. You're going to turn... Yes. The other way. Excellent. Did you just start? Yeah. Yeah, this is the beginning of the game. I meant to start a little bit earlier, but there were some uh, sound issues in the beginning that prevented me from starting on time. Luckily, we got it mostly sorted. I think you're going to go to the left. Yes. Okay, so unless I can get, like, a key card from them or something, I don't think there's anything I can do here right now. Let's go up to... Now please turn around. Press the damn button. Do 
you should turn to the left. Should be safe here. Elevator, quickly. Thank you. Use the box. Oh. <laughs> because the whole the snake hiding in boxes things. Was there actually a box there that we could that we could hop in? Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. You don't know. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea either. It's my first time actually well, it's my second time ever playing a Metal Gear game. My first time playing this one. Uh, how do we use doors? Shit, don't knock on it, dude. Don't be a dumbass. We must need, like, a key card or something. So I can't seem to, to press uh, the button or anything. That looks like a panel that you should be able to press, but... No go. Lock, do you think? Yeah, I think you're right. You need to fight the door in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Just knock it the hell down. Ladder, just press the action button by the With nothing ladder. but our fists. <laughs> Climb up into the vents or whatever the hell this is. Vents. And then maybe pop down. That's what I'm thinking. Are these vents going to be filled with more water? <laughs> Still seems a little, uh, unorthodox, man. I don't know. Having air vents just filled with water. Wouldn't that kind of stop the air from getting place to place? You know, the whole point of, of vents? Okay, I'm assuming I can't go down that one. Snake, the DARPA chief signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first-person view mode. I was trying to find somewhere to, to drop down, actually. Oh, God, okay. Hold on. Okay, cutscene. I was a little confused why the hell it froze up on us. Who, who, who's that? Hush. Quiet now. Mr. Chief, sir. I'm here to save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You're here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. <sighs> How do they plan to launch? Told you to shut the hell up, man. Just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay. We're conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Oh, that's the thing. They were talking about a Metal Gear Solid 2. Metal Gear. Yeah. Metal <laughs> that you thing. Knew. Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. Not so much, it seems. Contrary. It's grown into a huge joint project between Arms Tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been 
for the revolution. Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They've probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping. Why weapons. would you do all the talking hey, here, dude? Shut up in there, will ya? But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL? Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked? Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. I don't know whether to trust her or not. If they find out Baker's password. Yes, they'll be able to launch a nuke any time. There is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? We're about to get into as fuck. The system developers as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key? So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen. You need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay. Why would it ever be easy? Three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Okay, but how do we get through? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pad card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. <laughs> of course it does, yeah. That makes total sense. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. That explains how we do that. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? Oh God. <laughs> he talked too damn much. The psycho man is? Is it something that he can do? His whole psychic power thing? Remotely kill someone? Or like hypno them in some way so if they say the wrong thing they fucking die? I don't I don't quite know what just happened. Huh. Dead. I guess it's a good thing we got all the uh, good info out of him before he fucking Naomi, went. The chief. What happened? I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? No. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. 
You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you, the Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. Well, that just fills me with trust and confidence for this whole thing. <laughs> Fun fact, you can follow her into the bathroom and call the lady that lets you save. You get special dialogue. Wait, what the hell's going on? Did she just escape? How do we escape? <laughs> uh... Okay. Odd they don't have any, like, cones on them. Don't move. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. So you killed the chief, you bastard. Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move! Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance. That scared look in your eyes. They're rookie's eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie. Guys, this really the place be yelling about this? Like, open that door. Hey, what's up? You've got a card. Max empty brush. Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot. Uh. Oh, nope, he's still, he's still alive. Uh, how do we aim exactly? <laughs> there we go, okay. <laughs> Dealt with. <laughs> Fucking A, like man. A Max McBrush, that makes sense. You, shoot. There you go, now you're getting the hang of it. Okay, uh, oh god. Put out the cigarette, you dumbass. <laughs> I just want to eat some food, please. <laughs> God. <laughs> That's all I want. Uh, circle, yes. Is this your first playthrough of any Metal Gear Solid game? Yes. I did play a little bit of two, but only a little bit. Like a couple hours of it. And uh, honestly, for the longest time, I was worried that I wouldn't like Metal Gear games because I'm generally not a huge fan of stealth games. But Metal Gear Solid 2 helped change my mind on that. Okay, I'm assuming if we stand here, we're just... What is that? Those look like... Yep, those look like that. <laughs> Anyways, Metal Gear Solid 2 kind of changed my mind on the whole idea of the franchise. Um, so we held a poll and people wanted to see Metal Gear Solid 1, so fuck it, why not? You were playing the games way back in 98-99. Me no like stealth, yeah. <laughs> stealth. Yeah, I, uh, I've only ever tried a couple other stealth games, and yeah, they didn't go particularly well for me. So, hence why I was a little bit iffy on, on them. And with all of the hype that always surrounds it and whatnot, you know, I didn't want to try them out and then just end up hating them. But thankfully, no. Like I said, they are actually pretty decent. At the ripe old age of four. I played a lot of PS1, PS2 stuff when I was a kid, but never played Metal Gear Solid. Okay. Are you dead? You're dead. Okay. So... What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie! I'm telling you, shoot! This time we're gonna try just running out of the damn room, maybe? Because staying here definitely didn't do us any favors. Okay, nope. That didn't work. 
Running no work. You can't run out of the room, lol. Yeah, I'm, I'm realizing that. <laughs> Can we go anywhere else? No, we can't. Ow. So I guess whenever the, the grenades or mines or whatever the hell they were land, we just need to be careful not to stand on them. <laughs> Yeah, those right there. Okay, use the... Oh God. I'm still alive. Thank God. Ow, dude. Please. Please. Shoot them. Oh, my God. You can ADS. I don't think you can in this one. You can in Metal Gear Solid 2. And again, first time playing, could certainly be wrong, but I don't think you can ADS in this one. Nice close up of her ass and then white. Oh, flashback, okay. I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Boss. Oh, that's a great tip, man. That's a great tip. Why are you shooting at me, man? <laughs> I'm helping you. Well, I guess she still thinks that we're uh, that we killed the the baker. You seem friendly. Derpa. <laughs> Derpa chief. Naomi, so was that I just Mantis or whatever? Kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis. Fox yeah. Sounds psychic. That'd be Psychomantis, yeah. It's a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. Okay, so can we use them from here too? No. Can't use them from here, but if we keep them equipped and we drop to zero health, it'll automatically revive us. Still excellent to know. Really good information. Can't you just leave the room through the vent? You know, you would think, but <laughs> it doesn't appear to work that way. Can we go over here? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, Am I out of ammo, or do I need to do something else to reload nope we are completely empty okay well I have to try not to get any get into any fights for a period of time that'd be too simple yeah shit I did it again all right down to b3 I keep pressing X man I'm so used to X being select oh god my flashlight's been on this whole time. Alright, so they said to look for walls that are a different color. As if it's freshly poured concrete. I mean, this one looks a little different. Is that death, or...? That's death. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I thought maybe it was like a, a, a secret way into the vents or something like that. I, I didn't think it was just instant death. Well, now we know. Yeah, watch out for the trapdoors. <laughs> yep, I'm seeing that. Uh, okay, do we have to have the card equipped? For this to work? Yes, but we don't have access. Do we have access to any of them? Apparently so. Grenades. You do, but that's level five. Yeah, I think he said we only have access to what, level one? 
Yeah, we've already been in that one. Can't access that one. There's a message in D&D &D Discord. Okay, I'll check it out. Is this level one? That's level one. Some C4. That should be capable of blowing up some walls. That's a trap door. Let's not fall in that again. Did we check this last row of doors or did I? Yeah, no, we checked it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So walls that are a different color than the rest. This one over here looks a little suspicious to me. It doesn't necessarily look like it's a different color. It just looks weak. I don't know, like cracked. But I don't think that's necessarily what we're looking for. Can we go through this door with the code card? No. It's really weird that everyone's gone. So that's a level one. We've been in there. I'm assuming we need to break into one of these boxes. One of the ones that we can't get into. Maybe first person mode would help. Everything here looks pretty normal. Let's check from the back. Yeah, no, looks looks fine. Okay. That one. That one definitely looks different than the ones next to it. But is that just because it's like a thing sticking out or does it actually meant to look different than the other ones? Metal Gear, the series with the skin breathing girl? I don't even know what the hell that means. The skin breathing girl? That sounds creepy as shit, dude. Wait. That one looks different. Oh, yes. No, that one definitely looks different. Okay. So, C4. Press square to set, circle to detonate. Now, how big of an explosion is this going to be? Not that big. Oh, if that's not until Metal Gear Solid 5. That explains the naked woman a few minutes ago. I'll be honest, I kind of thought that was a woman too. Not gonna lie. Oh, we're being jammed. Well, that's trash. I guess this is a, uh, a resonant chamber or whatever the hell they said before. <laughs> There's a wall right here. I was just seeing if there was anything else that we could get or explore, but it doesn't look like it. Uh, is that far enough? Appears to be. Looks empty. This... Another wall? Yes. Okay. So, set. And below. Harmonic resonance, that's what they said, thank you. Hi there. Are you the, the chief or whatever? The president? Are you wired to that fucking thing? You are. He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry. I'm here to save you. No. No, don't touch it. C4. 
Okay. This is not a great situation to be in. Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. Twirl it. <laughs> he seems to really enjoy twirling it. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets, more than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me Revolver. Um, I'm hoping there's a way to deal with this guy without using our gun because we don't have one. <laughs> I don't think you could kill a tank with six bullets, fair. Oh god. I won't help you. I understand the bullets you see. I make them go where I want. Okay, we got our own bullets now, which is nice, but honestly, if we can just make him run out of ammo, can we do the Is it like Metal Gear Solid 2 where you have the option of Oh, he can bounce fucking shots? I love to reload during a battle. There's nothing like a feeling of slander. Uh, Let's go. my God, this guy, he doesn't run out of ammo. Yeah, I'm seeing that. You better hurry up. The old man's not going to last too long. Oh, shit. I touched it. Oh, my God. I was trying to pick up the ammo. <laughs> you idiot. Yeah, a little bit. That's me. I'm the idiot. Actually, you know what, though? This is a pretty decent time. Uh, the auto-add timer is running up. So we might as well go ahead and take a break before we go back into this uh, boss fight here. So we're going to go into the break scene for just a moment, guys. Just like three to five minutes. I'm going to stand up, stretch, get a drink, do all that normal stuff. Suggest you guys do the same, and then we'll come back and try to kill us a lot, which I don't know. We'll see how that goes, but we'll be right back. Happy to see you here, bud. But yeah, I don't know if anybody else has watched Squid Game, but I keep seeing like theory videos and stuff from MatPat on, on my list of videos that I'm way behind on. And uh, it makes me want to watch Squid Game real bad. We need to watch that soon, Mr. Noodle. Ah, getting some dashing in. Good for you, man. Make that bread. <laughs> All right. I was saying be, uh, right before we got into the game here, I'm not All feeling the greatest team. today, sadly. So I may end up uh, having to, to, to quit a little bit earlier than, than I prefer tonight. But we'll see. I'm hoping to make it at least an hour and a half. We'll see how that goes. You want to watch it? Have not yet? Yeah, man. I keep hearing such good things about it, and the theory videos make me want to watch it, and I just... But I haven't had the chance to, you know? Soon. Soon, hopefully. I don't I don't know what the Doritos about, Mr. Noodle, but some Doritos and salsa sound really good. I know it would just tear my stomach up more, though, so... <laughs> oh, and uh, real quick, Mr. Noodle. If you, uh... If you end up, or before you end up getting in the bath or whatever, if you wouldn't mind getting me a quick refill on my drink, I would appreciate you tons. It's not empty yet, but it probably will be in about 10 minutes. <laughs> Alright, so tonight we're playing a little bit of Freaky Flyers. We got some dude announcer talking to us at the moment, but he's not saying anything important. Just saying that there's some event going on and we're a part of it, basically. But yeah, I've had this one sitting around for a little while, and it looks kind of interesting. But I've never been a huge fan of, like, 
dog fighting games and i think that's a pretty large part of what this game is so i don't really know if it's going to end up being a game for me but i figured i'd try it out anyways and uh tonight seemed like a, a decent enough night to do it with it being a <clears throat> possibly a shorter stream we'll see how that goes <laughs> But at, at least it still looks fun, right? I, I did consider just grabbing a sports game or something like that. But <clears throat> this one here looked more fun than playing like a just a normal NBA or NFL game or something like that. So <laughs> I figured, screw it, I'd, I'd try out this one instead. Speaking of salsa, your coworker told you she heard of people making chili with salsa, beans, the chili mix of meat. I mean, that's basically what I do with that one stew that I make, right? I don't put... Um, chili mix in it, but salsa, beans, and meat are three of the main ingredients. So, ginger, I want, nah, I wouldn't mind trying one of the, uh, either the lemonade or one of the other ones, I think, but. Alright, so we got a few different game modes here. First, let's hop into the options and see, do they have a, I can turn down the music a little bit, which I am a fan of. Actually, I'd like to turn that down a little bit, the sound effects down a little bit, and then leave the movies and narrator turned up all the way. <clears throat> And then I was hoping for a freaking subtitles, but a, a lot of old games don't have subtitles. So we got a movie viewer, that's cool. Mini games, what kind of mini? There we are. Helps if you unmute the right thing. Anyways, we're back. Let's get back into the game, shall we? How much of it do we have to redo? Do we have to blow everything back up again? I mean, that won't take long. Yeah, it does look like we do. It's not that big of a deal. Would have been nice, though, if they would have had the checkpoint be, like, right before the, the fight with the the boss. But beggars, choosers, all those things. Okay, before we get in there, let's go ahead and remember to re-equip re the rations. And then... Oh, uh, I bet you we could use the C4, too. Or will... If we use the C4, will that trigger the C4 that's in the room? I'd be worried about that, but since we can like set it and detonate it whenever we want, it seems like a pretty decent option to do won't help you. to do some damage. We're going to try it. We'll set it, like, as far away as is reasonable. So we need to try and kill him with... So it looks like we can only get, like, one shot off, and then... Shit. I'm going to try a stun grenade. Where's he at, though? I don't know. We really don't throw that very far anyways, do we? Okay, never mind. That was probably a bad idea. That blew up so big, man. That was much larger of an explosion than I expected. Okay, yeah, no, there's no point in, in rapid firing. I need to stop doing that. Oh, God. Nope, he ran back the other way. So we just need to dodge until he stops shooting. And then get him while he's reloading. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of feels that way, actually. Nope. Never mind, he can run and reload. But to you, be the smell of your own death. Is it because we're like... He must be seeing us coming. Uh, excuse me. Shoot that direction, snake. We're out of ammo. Fuck, never mind. Uh, okay. Let's try the regular grenades. Will that do anything? Okay, which way is he coming? No. No, because he runs away. 
too quickly. I'm sure it's possible, but... And that set off the shit in the middle. Okay. Good to know. You idiot. So, flash grenades are fine. The real grenades, not so much. And if the real grenades can set off the C4 in the middle of the room, I'm assuming the, the C4 will as well, like RC4. So probably just just don't mess with that stuff. We just need to figure out how to like actually hit him with the gun. Like consistently, because we're just wasting way too much ammo. You were looking at the case you want again for the foam. The two other colors say they will be here Friday. So oh, the color you want is just on back order. That's lame. Okay, uh, two things. One, try cover fire. I'll be honest, I didn't even think of that in this game. Of course, he can bounce the bullets around, so cover fire is only going to do so much for us, but... Oh... Uh, Seems like cover fire is not available in this game, sadly. Ow. Gonna end up having to pick up more ammo. Okay, we got way too close. There we go. <laughs> I was really scared trying to pick that up, I'm not gonna lie. One shot. Once it hits, just stop. Damn it. Why did they crucify the presence of Anderson was coming to seven? But why go on full on Seiko? That's actually a really good question, man. Yeah, it does seem odd, doesn't it? Like, yeah, you need the password from the guy or whatever, but to <laughs> completely wrap him in wire in C4 seems like a bit much, don't it? I didn't even think of that until you mentioned it, but it really does. Ocelot's just dramatic. There we go. Thankfully, our gun seems to do more damage than his uh, perfect gun, or whatever the hell he called it. The best handgun ever made. Stop running back and forth, you bastard. Damn it, we missed. Fuck. Again. We only got 12 shots left. Thankfully, I think we only need to hit him like two or three times. There we go. Uh, maybe more than a little, two or three times. Uh, a shoot. It's gonna be okay. Still on Oslo, huh? Yeah, we died one more time. I tried using a, uh, a grenade, <laughs> and turns out grenades are not the way to go. Thank you for that tip on the fucking rations, though. That just saved our life right there. Just fucking hit him, dude. We only got three shots left. Need to bait him out. Come on. Nope. Damn it. I was on him there. I could have hit him. Baker is pleasuring himself in the middle of the room. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So now we have a problem. <laughs> the problem is, is that we have no damn ammo. Oh, good. There was some more left there. I'm assuming more spawned. Either that or maybe we were full. Thank God. I was really worried about us uh, running out of ammo. Come on. Just like one or two more hits. Let's go, dude. You're pretty good. It's extremely easy in the remake. It's actually not too hard here either. I'm just, you know, not very good. <laughs> Excuse me? The fuck? Stealth 
camouflage. Can't you even die right? You were lucky. We'll meet again. <laughs> That doesn't seem normal. Well, goodbye then. Who the hell? Can you talk? Who are you? I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Some invisible dude came in, cut off the guy's hand, freed him, like... Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mattis' mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that what case, he said. how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha. <laughs> you're a funny man. <laughs> so the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I can't be. No, no, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh. <laughs> Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists? No, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the colonel's niece? Wait, is that the lady that escaped and tried to kill us? <laughs> I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes, she stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh, sorry. GG. I forgot. Damn. <laughs> oh my god. I fucking hate this guy. Oh, that's uh. right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius in engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how it's to. On the back of the CD case. Oh wait. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably. It's literally on the back of the CD case. The Warhead Storage Building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. <laughs> I understand. Oh no. Why I'll have to look it up unless one of you know it. Because I'm playing on the PlayStation Mini. Oh, you're the threat of nuclear war isn't gone. 
In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and... I was wondering what the hell he's talking about with the CDKs. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stack this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported. One of those? <laughs> okay. <Muff. I> mean, <laughs> stands for material unaccounted for. And that's a hell of a lot uh, that a closer than what I, what I had before. black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Uh, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean Metal Gear. Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. You mean Metal Gear? That's why we pushed <laughs> to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the military oversight committee. <laughs> those damn bleeding heart liberals. It's always their fault. <laughs> Bribes. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here, this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't hit know it, this hit it where? Exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. Did you did boss. you swallow it as well? I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? <laughs> Jammed in between his ass cheeks. That ninja? <laughs> that was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. <coughs> uh, you know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi, you've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are, are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... GG. What? What did you do to me? Oh, no. Oh, oh no, it can't be. Those Pentagon bastards. So, they, they actually went in. Did it. What are you talking about? They, they, they are just using you for. <sighs> yep. Okay. So we got someone on the inside fucking with us. What the hell? Naomi, you got some answering to do, man. <laughs> Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead, too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but 
We won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. <laughs> Can I trust her? Snake's just running around giving people heart attack. I know nothing Snake her. swears he's... <laughs> Pinky a promise. Of interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? President seemed to think different. I'm counting on you. And for some reason, I believe the guy that had nothing left to lose more than more than you. <laughs> also, why does the president of the company only have access to level two? For some reason, it seems like he should have access to a little higher security clearance than that. But uh, what do I know? Said something about nano machines. Do they have a kill switch or something? That's what I'm thinking too, honestly. But uh, I guess we'll find out eventually. What was I going to say? Oh, also, I saw your comment, man, about the... Uh, I remember when people used to look like that in 1998. That was hilarious, by the way. I'm fucking blind. Circled that room like three times trying to find the damn exit. Okay, so I'm assuming we need to get away from where we're being jammed, and then we can call 140.15, I think is what it said. Okay, so select... Oh, hi. I wasn't... Okay, I think my controller's fucked up or something. There we go. Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. Does kind of look like one big gray blob, yeah. A little bit, a little bit. Meryl, right? For a PS1 game, I think it's it feels, uh, looks pretty good, but... And just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. You came by yourself? You think you're some kind of one-man army? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? Hey, Rue! Glad you're What's back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people call me. The legendary Solid Snake? Oh my you? god. Stop fan- Fangirling. Sorry about before. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. Wow, Ow. much graphic? Hell yeah. It's your eyes. My eyes. Solid steak? Oh, dude. And steak sounds so good. Right. No, they're beautiful, compassionate eyes. How oh, just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Oh, I don't believe that. At least Why he's modest. You so surprised when you saw my face. Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah, you know him. You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal then? Clone well, who knows. I'm Why guessing clone. Him? But first, I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? <laughs> Liquid Snake. That I sounds a lot a less uh, appealing. Peter, right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really <laughs> for disposing the nuclear weapons. Stake. Oh my god. This base is owned Y'all are and operated nasty. by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush hush. But we must have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. Well, that's what I heard anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Mm, sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah, that's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, you met <laughs> I mean, Baker, huh? How's he holding yep. up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. 
Under the she boob. Died from a heart attack too. <laughs> Calling it now. Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? Uh. No, not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Hmm. Sounds like it, but I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yes. Is he still get alive? Get too close, I'll give you a heart Probably. attack too, yeah. He should be in the research lab in Everyone the second that gets floor close to me dies. Warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement. South yeah, Snake becomes emo. Yeah, lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. Oh. What's the best way to get to the building where the doctor is being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security cargo door, level first of the door floor there? north? Okay. Five, but it's okay. I've got a level five card. Of course well, you do. I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not. I mean, you're both pretty green right oh, now. Yes, you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy, and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. The true I'm baddie of this game, high cholesterol. Right oh my god, I never dude. Never had any problems in training, <laughs> but when I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Uh, shooting at targets and shooting at living, breathing people are different. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained Wait, for my real? mind and body. That's for crazy, man. Recording the entire thing instead of a mansion. Now, so what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself. Honestly, to quit. it sounds a lot better than Resident Evil. So. <laughs> Everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. I was expecting it to be on the level of Resident Evil, but no, it blows it out of the water, honestly. It's easy to forget what a sin is of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. No Maybe shit, for real? Way. That's crazy. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> okay, ha, 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 yes. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Don't say that. Then we'll take care of the detonation <laughs> code override. Gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. The sexual tension here is real, yes. Yes, it is. It seems like everyone Snake talks to, honestly. <laughs> I think it's just Snake, dude. Dude just exudes raw sexual energy, obviously. Alright, so first floor cargo, d cargo door, but we need to find the doctor first before we do that. Also, the soldiers are back, so we need to pay attention to that. We got a bunch of ammo, some grenades. Should be good. Scooby-Doo could cut it with a knife. Bruh. I miss Scooby-Doo. I think, like, basically all of the Scooby-Doo series are available on HBO Max. Oh fuck. Uh hi. <laughs> it looks like the place is protected fuck. by the soldiers. Somehow you'll have to make it past the beams. Yep, too late. If you have any questions about weapons or equipment, you should ask our military analyst. Yep, thanks for the heads up. Just a tiny bit late, honestly. Oh what I'm empty? Oh shit, we're dead. Um oh we have a FAMAS. Oh, hi. <laughs> Shit, dude. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> well. Now we know. Was there 
other than than the dude like calling and telling us was there any way for us to know that ahead of time i mean if you're smoking i imagine it's like in uh the second game right like when you're smoking you can see them oh there were it's pretty visible on the ground there yeah they make that pretty obvious don't they uh okay There we go. So now. Yeah, I just meant like before. Because like since smoking is harmful, you don't want to be smoking all the time. So I didn't know if there was some way to 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 tell when you should pull out the cigarettes. But like it's it's pretty obvious now. Like I can see that there's marks all the way around the damn room. Better to have the infrared goggles? Yeah. I can imagine. Okay, so I'm assuming they have the same pattern they had last time. So this guy's going to walk all the way forward. Excellent. That's level... Is that level 2? That's level 3. What level's this one? Level 1. So we've been in that one before. So we're just going to get the hell out, I think. No, hit the button, snake. So did they say what level the doctor's on? They mentioned the, the cargo hold on, on level 1 to the north, but it has a level 5 lock on it. Was he... You know what? I bet you it's basement level 1. Because there's more rooms that in there that we couldn't explore, right? Before, right? Do I have a battery pack up here? I don't think so noodle but maybe the guy who voices liquid voice donatello in tmnt that's awesome i'm just happy that they got like some actual voice actors for this game because again like i was i was kind of expecting the quality of voice acting like there wasn't in resident evil the original one you know where it's like reasonable but cheesy as hell <laughs> honestly Some bullets. We'll take it. Some more bullets. Okay, so the doctor's not here. Unless... No, because these are the two cells that we were in. Me and, me and the lady. This door's locked. Can't get in there yet. So I guess the only place left to go is back up to the first floor. You know what we haven't done yet that we should do? Save. Which is you, Mei Ling. You caught Snake? Save. I didn't expect there to be all this dialogue. Uh, whatever. If not, then we're missing a battery pack. I mean, there might be one up here. I could just be missing it. It might be... I don't know. It might be up here somewhere. They're hilarious. They are, man. Honestly, like, I find it part of their charm at this point for the original Resident Evil games. Like, the first time I played it, I was a little put off by it. But now it's just... It's just part of the experience. <laughs> their corny-ass voice lines, the way they deliver them, like... There's a camera. Should be able to get past it, though. Yep. Excellent. I'm, I'm not trying to go up against the wall. I'm trying to go in the damn door. There we go. Cardboard box. <laughs> we actually, oh, God. We got the cardboard box. Okay, how... How do we use it? Is it a one-time use, or can we use it over and over again? Two heliport written on it. What am I playing this on, by the way? The PlayStation Mini. 
It's the only, uh, it's the only copy that I actually owned of it. Okay, so now if we go out here and then quickly, I'm assuming that, like, the camera and everything will be safe from too, right? As long as we're not moving. We got a test. Yes. <laughs> God. <laughs> the infamous cardboard box. Let's go, dude. <laughs> Great when you haven't been spotted. Convenient coffin when you do. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's why it says... That's... That's cool. That's really neat. Because it says on it, like, where to be delivered to or whatever. So if you... That's... That's a neat mechanic. I like that. Nice little fast travel system built in. It's actually a really cool idea. If you're already on alert, don't use it. I'm, I'm assuming they'll check boxes... Okay, is there someone up here? Yes. Okay. Mr. Box. Oh god, I got so scared there for a second. <laughs> I thought the they way. were Uh excuse me. <laughs> Sir, I I did We weren't moving. I thought we were gonna be okay. What happened? <laughs> Oh. Like whenever he said, oh, just a box. I was like, oh, good. You know, I had a, I had a quick sigh of relief. And then he was just like, get out of there and kick the damn box. <laughs> like, well, fuck me, dude. So it works for cameras. But not so much for people. At least not if they're like right up against it. Maybe if, uh. Maybe if it was like we were off in the distance or something, maybe it would have been okay, but. Shit. Oh, hi. Do you guys have clearance to get in here? You do. If they see it move, it blows the illusion. I didn't think he saw it move, but they literally dance around the guards. Are there like an infinite number of guards or are there only, will they run out eventually or do they just keep coming forever? I'm starting to feel like they just keep coming forever. Damn it. They keep spawning. Oh, when you're on alert, they keep spawning. Okay. Well, that was a good way to waste 90% of our ammo. Alright, so... We're not safe on the stairs. That's good to know. We're only kind of safe over here. Okay, that thing needs to turn quickly because I want to get here, please. Thank you. Get off the damn wall, snake. I just realized there's a red dot. Wait, what? A mine detector. Okay. So since it just gave us a mine detector, I'm assuming we should probably use it. Buried mines show up on the radar screen. Uh, What's the red dot that's on the screen right now? Because that was there before we picked up the mine detector. Is it an interactable thing? 
Maybe we can use the disc here. Turn around. Let's try that. Where's that disc at? There it is. Tainted Metal Gear. Oh, it's just glitching? Oh, lame. Okay. Well, in that case, let's equip the rations. Mine detector will be useful coming up. Good to know. Oh, yeah, shit. We can't get out of here, can we? Uh, I guess we need the box. To get around the camera. Let's go. Oh, there's supposed to be a camera there. Oops. <laughs> Despawn that somehow, I guess. Back in the vents we go. Okay, I think that's the room we just came from, actually. The one that had the uh, the mine detector in it. So this would be that other door, the one that we weren't able to open. So this one does have a camera in it. Maybe it was just showing like that one, but in the wrong room? I don't know. No way out yet. Don't want to backseat, but I'm going the wrong way. Well, shit. <laughs> oh, is this because there was a uh, a second set of vents that we could that we could enter through, huh? From outside, is this is this that second set of vents, like the the second level ones or whatever? I remember from the intro they were talking about that, that there was another, like on the second floor, there should have been another set of vents that we could crawl in through, but we, we went in the first floor ones. So, shit. <laughs> Alright, turning around then. Go back the way we came. We're trying to find the doctor, I just don't know where to find the... to find the damn doctor. You're headed back to the first area, teleport, yeah, 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 yeah. I gotcha. Oh. There's some stuff there. Can I... Is it possible to, like, get it? Cool it is. We can just crawl over the hole. Ration, please and thank you. Now, how do we go down the hole? Triangle? Triangle's not doing anything. Action button. That makes sense. Okay, box time. Let's go. Oh no. Oh no. Huh? What was that noise? No noise here, sir. Hmm. Just go back the way you came. God damn it. Yo, Snake, what are you doing, Snake? Oh my god. Uh, okay. <laughs> Damn controller D-pad being a dumbass. Oh my god, dude, get up. Get up. Ow. Oh, we're empty. Uh, yeah, that, that doesn't do us much good, does it? Damn it, they're everywhere. 
I need to get somewhere I can hide. So they're setting for a way to use the sticks. Sadly, the PlayStation Mini doesn't have sticks. I wish it did. I even, I tried using, I have a, uh, a PlayStation to USB adapter. So I tried to use that. But, um, it wouldn't recognize anything but the D-pad when I did that. Because I was thinking of that, that it would be nice if I was able to use the, the sticks. Plus, I just think the PS2 controller is nicer than the original PS1 style controller. But, yeah, no luck. Well, there goes both the rations that we picked up. Oh, wait, we kind of need the card to get through here. Don't mind me, I'm just a box in the corner. There was totally already a box here, guys. Okay, so that goes back out to the heliport. We don't want to go back out there. What's this door? What level is this one? Does it say? I can't quite read it. But maybe... Level 2? It is level 2 or lower. Uh, also, duck. Solid box, solid turtle. Okay, is there like a, a stealth takedown? I guess there's the stun grenade, right? We could try that. You can choke them out from behind. Oh, that that completely took him down. Okay. I thought that'd be like a temporary stun. Oh shit, it is a temporary stun. Uh <laughs> God. Oh god, no. <laughs> He's still alive. They're both still alive. Fuck me. This did not go well. We only have two shots. We're dead. You don't know the buttons, though? I'm, I'm assuming circle, the action button. Because, uh... That's how you do, like, melee attacks, so... Okay, so there's still that dude over there. I'm glad they're fucking blind and can't see you over here. Okay, maybe if we just duck. Maybe we don't need to be actually, like, against the wall. Because if I don't touch the D-pad, then the D-pad won't fuck up and make me move over. So I'm hoping just ducking behind here will be stealthy enough that we'll be okay. Yeah, good. Just stay right there. You have to press it repeatedly. Okay. I will keep that in mind. How far is this guy going to walk? Am I going to be able to... I guess I'll probably have to go into the door. Wait for him to pass. And then... Oh shit, is he turning around already? No, not yet. Okay, he's a... probably going too soon though. Uh, Go in. Come on. Good. Excellent. I got very lucky then whenever I was going over to that ladder area because I was not paying any attention to, to the guy out there. What? Why didn't you go all the way over this time? You dick. There he goes. No, keep going. Keep going. Why are you just patrolling by the door now? 
You went all the way over there just a moment ago. I'd rather not die in this one room from, like, starvation or something. I, mean, I guess we could, like, sneak out and try to stealth kill him or something like that. But I, I, I'm scared. I'm not going to lie. You're going to bed? Have a good night, Valkyrie. Thank you for coming and hanging out with us for a bit. Happy to see you next week, too. Yeah, I guess we're just going to have to go for it, man. Yep. That went well. Fuck. <laughs> I don't understand why he came all the way over here. And then, like, just refused to come over here whenever I was standing in that, in that room. Snake's looking like a pretty bad legendary mercenary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is. You can do it. Thanks, Nate. <laughs> I need that. Okay, maybe we can, while he's walking away. No, because that camera will spot us. I was going to say, maybe while he's walking away. We can try to, like, sneak up behind him and choke him out or whatever, but... You can hang from the railing? Really? How the hell does that work? Do we just... Circle? Circle doesn't do anything. Triangle just goes first person. X just goes up and down. Oh, you can't in this game. Okay. You were talking about the second game. I gotcha, I gotcha. It'd be helpful if we could in this game. <laughs> It'd be one way to get away from the guy. See, he's coming all the way down here again. That's annoying. Did the game glitch or something when we were in that room? I feel like he's meant to come all the way over here. <gasps> Shit. He spotted us. Um, okay, pull out the rations. Sure, the gun's fine. Okay. And then just go in the vents. Just going in the vents is a... Oh, you can't when you're... Damn it, shoot! Oh, we're out of fucking ammo. That's probably why it's not working. And then... Card. Back to the rations. We're probably gonna need a... Yeah, hide somewhere in here, though. Shoot him, dude! Oh shit, <laughs> I thought, <laughs> I thought we actually got away with it for a second, man. <laughs> God damn it. No, we're screwed. Just let us die. Stop crying, I'll be right back, lady. So how do we get out of here, dude? Okay, first off, let's just grab that cardboard box. So we know this dude is about to walk over here. Okay, quickly. Level 2 card. Get in the door. I'm just hoping that he still walks all the way over. I mean, he did every other time, except for when we were in this room. When we're in this room, he seems to just chill right here for some reason. He's definitely going to hear our footsteps. There you go. Turn the corner, keep walking. Turn the corner, keep walking. Why do you hate us? Is 
Is it because we're too close? This is weird. Okay, um, card, rations in case we fuck up. Oh shit, you're still alive? I thought you were dead, dude. I can't even see what I'm shooting at. I'm just shooting blind. He's right here. Snake just fucking hit him, dude. Jesus. We're gonna die again. There's no way. Yep. If anybody has any hints on what the hell to do here, I'm totally up for it. At this point, I'm wondering if we should just walk outside, like go back up through the vents, go outside, and then come back in or something. So I don't know how the hell to get around this guy. I mean, I guess we could try the cardboard box. Maybe we won't get spotted by him this time. Like maybe he won't just get the random urge to, to kick the damn box. Nope, he, he had the urge to kick the damn box. All right, then. Uh, next best bet is to just run and get into that other room over there. Grab the gun we actually have ammo for. Sucks that we're going to use up all of our rations, but I don't know how else to get the hell out of here. Can you shoot him, please, dude? Holy fuck. Snake, get off the damn... God damn it, Snake! Oh my god, dude. Fuck! Well, <laughs> yep, I'm at a loss here. I think we're going to have to do that, man. Shit, yeah, shit is right. I have no idea what to do. Like, I just don't know how to get away from this one guy. He's really tripping me up. So the only thing I can think of is to... to go back outside, make our way back around and do it that way. Like, try to lure him into the room with knocking and then kick his ass. Okay. That's a good idea. I forgot about the knocking mechanic. We'll try that real quick. Maybe just resetting the area even will, will fix the, the problem with him. Like, not wanting to walk over here for some godforsaken reason. Is he still here even, or did he... Yeah, no, he's still here. I wish we could do first-person shooting. Of course, I guess we don't have, like, a silenced weapon regardless. But if we could do first-person shooting, we could, you know, take him out from across the room. If we're... Nah, he'll, he'll hear us coming up, I feel like. Because there's no way to walk either in this game, right? Since the whole... No, no stick thing. 
Like, if we had analog sticks, I imagine we'd be able to just press them lightly to, to walk and not make as much noise. Damn it. I'm rubbing my face right now. I'm so... <laughs> I'm so, so more annoyed with myself than anything else, honestly. I 100% I, I believe this is a me problem and not a game problem. I guess the other option, we could reload the save, right? Because we saved... And then all we did after that was collect the... Or no, we came up here anyways. Yeah, because we needed to get the, the mine thing. So either way. Anyways, though, it has been another hour since our last break. So the ad is about to make itself run. And I don't want it to run in the middle of gameplay. So we're going to go over to the break screen just for three to five minutes, guys. Excellent chance, as always, to stand up, stretch, get a drink, do all that important stuff. Give myself a bit of a moment to breathe, too. Just calm down a little bit. We got this guy. We have a plan. Chocobo gave us a plan. We're going to execute it. It'll be fine. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we'll be right back. Oh. Okay, so we can just go ahead and select our character. We'll just do random. Why not? Script. <clears throat> Instead of diced tomatoes, they use salsa. I mean, I'll try it. It sounds good, but... I... Whatever. <laughs> like, I, I never thought of doing that before, but I'm sure it would be good. I mean, salsa is just vinegar, tomatoes, peppers, onions, seasoning. Like, that's about it. Uh, all of that stuff goes good with chili. That uh, is a lot of ingredients in chili, so <laughs> that's discrimination. How rude. You mean the, the missing subtitles? Yeah, a lot of old games didn't have subtitles, sadly. Reading the Tokyo Avengers manga now. I don't know anything about that. What the hell is Tokyo Revengers, Nate? Do tell. Protect the fort from rampaging dynamite throwing banditos. We'll try it. Uh, controls. Okay. Reverse pitch. Can we... Let's turn that on, because I'm definitely going to need that. And sure, start. We'll try one of the mini games, and then we'll go into one of the other game modes there. You feel excluded, Mr. Noodle? I'm sorry, love. <laughs> I would love to put subtitles on for you. I always try to, but, you know. I prefer subtitles, too. I'm not even deaf or anything. I just I prefer... I, I feel like I have a better understanding of what's going on whenever I can read it instead of just hearing it. <laughs> so... Uh, but sadly, it's not an option in every case. I feel confident that knowing you're helping others is enough reward. Oh, how I envy you. Rich with the satisfaction that can only come through charity. While I am hey, Mr. Noodle, thank you for the 5-bit so cheer. Cash and oh, another thing about being the bit boss, Mr. Noodle, that I forgot to tell you. Every time you donate bits or anything like that, you heal your health a little bit. So you can stay the bit boss a little bit longer by donating bits and things. Which is uh, another neat little thing that they got. Nate, so it has time travel. It's similar to Erase It. Oh, very cool. I had to look into it sometime. Hey, what's up, Rue? Nice to see you, man. Uh, tonight we're just playing a little bit of Freaky Flyers. It's a, I think mainly dog fighting, but it says stuff about like adventure modes and right now we're trying out a mini game. I'm actually a little sick right now, so I wanted to play something that I didn't think I would get too, too into in case I have to cut the stream a little bit short, but we'll see how that goes. Guy dies, goes back to childhood, and is trying to fix things. Very cool, man. Yeah, I'll definitely have to check it out sometime. So... Your fort is My fort is damaged. Yeah, well, no shit. Are we, like, overheating or something? Okay, so we can look behind us. Circle does things. Okay, triangle makes us do a freaking flip. Uh, Your R1's like a boost. Danger. And I could have swore we reversed our pitch. I I'm wondering if maybe the pitch was already reversed. Yeah, I've never really been into, like, flying games, so I don't expect this game to really be my, uh, <laughs> to be my jam, to be honest with you. Oh, Rue, you'll be happy to hear. I, I haven't ordered it yet, but I've looked into, uh, copies of Odin Sphere, seeing if there were any available at a reasonable price. And thankfully there are. Both, uh, new and used copies are fairly easy to come by, it seems. So, I will probably be picking that up real soon. And then we'll be trying it out on the channel shortly thereafter. I haven't gotten anywhere, Hattie, because I can't get past this one damn guy. This one guy is fucking up my entire life. Like, 
Oh my god. I hate this guy so much. But it's fine. We got this. I got cookies for a little bit. Can't can't eat the cookies yet, but the problem is whenever you kill someone, it sets off the alarms most of the time. And then you just have an infinite wave of enemies coming at you at that point. Trust me, I tried. <laughs> but Chocobo gave us an idea. We're going to try to lure him into a room off to the side and kill him in there where hopefully it won't set off the alarms. Also, as much as I like the, the rations refilling our health from zero, I think we're going to go ahead and use a ration so we don't die in like one hit again. Like we did last time. And we now know that... I was going to say, we now know that this makes a lot of noise, which it does, but I didn't expect this to hear us from all the way over there. God damn it. We're out of ammo. Oh, we killed each other. GG. I might, I might need to eat this cookie sooner rather than later. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe we've been stuck on this one damn section for like 10 minutes now, man. Kill him and go up the ladder. Doesn't, don't they respawn whenever you leave the area and then come back? I could be wrong, but I thought that's the way it worked. Come on. Come over here. Even though you don't come over here any other time. Go ahead and come all the way over here. Kill him, then use thy box. Yeah, the soldiers actually check the box. It seems like every time they see a box out of place, they check it. It's not quite as powerful as the memes led me to believe. <laughs> That we should be, we should be good. Go in the room. Get off the wall. Snake, for Christ's sakes, just get on the wall and stay on the wall. Come on. Someone's knocking. Aren't you curious? He cares not. He doesn't care one bit. What if we unequip the card so that the door doesn't automatically open? And then maybe if we knock on the door, no, nothing. Son of a bitch. Good idea though. One more idea. I am game for any idea, man. Honestly. C4. C4. Yeah, I was just thinking that myself. Throw down some C4 out there, hide in this room somewhere, and then blow it the hell up. Okay, we'll wait for him to go back down the other way. Okay, he's gonna stop here, check again. Or, yeah, and then he's gonna walk back the other way. It's like they have some sort of damn proximity sensor or something. <laughs> like they don't know I'm here, but they know I'm here, man. Okay. Card to open the door. Wait for the camera to turn. That was totally my fault. That was <laughs> that was me. <laughs> oh my god. That's that's how C4 four works, guys. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, um.
Go ahead. Walk over here now, asshole. There you go. Round the corner. You know you want to. Oh, you think maybe he would come over here? If I put C4 here? I didn't... I didn't think of that. I don't get... I, I, I still am a little bit confused on why they come over here at all. To be honest with you, but only sometimes. Annoyingly, that guy seemed to respawn. I was hoping if we just killed him, that would be fine, but... Yeah, no. Damn. Alright. Is he dead? I think he's dead. Back to the other plan. Just run the hell away and hide in that room. Snake it off the damn wall, please. Fuck! I should have re-equipped the rations. We'll try your idea, and then if that doesn't work, we're going to, uh... We're gonna just crawl outside and come back around. Because I don't, I don't know what else to do. I don't want to be stuck here anymore. <laughs> Okay, so place C4 here is your idea. We'll wait until he comes and checks on us and leaves. Then we'll sit down the C4 and and go around to the room. Because he's definitely going to come and check on us. He does it every damn time. Okay, wait for him to get really far away. Also, just use the ration. I don't want to get one. You may just try choking him out here. Stand up, snake. See, I did try that, but... Like, as soon as... Oh, no, I don't want the card equipped. I want the, the box. As soon as they, uh... As soon as you start to move, it seems like they hear you. And you can't walk. You can only run. I mean, I very well may be doing something wrong. I've never played the game before. But it seems like every time I, I walk with them close by, they instantly hear you. And you can't crouch walk. You can only crawl. Or, or run. Come on. Go check. Go check to see what the C4 is. Okay. Other idea. Wait, do I not have the C4? Am I too far away from it? I must be too far away from it or something. Because I can't trigger it. Maybe if I open the door first? The only thing I worry about is that he's going to get back in position by the time I get out of here. Damn it. Yeah, he's, he heard us. We're far enough away that he actually already can't see us. 
so we might. Oh my god, dude. Did we finally do it? Oh, thank fuck. <laughs> okay. I mean, <laughs> look. I wouldn't exactly call it clean, but I think it worked. Let's let's save again. I think I think we need to do that. What can I do for you, Snake? Now that we're in a safe space, fucking save the game. I never want to have to redo that one section again. <laughs> Just that one section. Snake, listen to what Lo G said. He who knows. It's because you can see an item, something, 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 whatever. I don't care, Mailing. <laughs> Just, I do not care right now. All right, box time. Game crashes while saving. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I just give up. We'll come back and play another night, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> nope. All right, so I don't think there's anywhere else for us to go here. So I'm going to go back down to basement two. If anyone knows what floor I need to be on, I give you permission to spoil that. <laughs> like, feel free to backseat and tell me what damn floor to go on, because, yeah. I want to make at least a little bit more progress before the end of the night. And we only have what, like another, yeah, like another hour. Thank God the elevator's already over here. Oh wait, I don't know why I clicked basement one. We know it's not basement one. There's nowhere to go on basement one. Basement two, there could have been another room that, that I didn't see, like another one of those boxes. Call the Colonel. Chief and President Baker. <laughs> Need so to be on the helipad on a Tuesday morning while there's a full moon. Yeah, <laughs> on top of that, they both died right in front of my eyes. Snake, now that the terrorists have both detonation codes, the only way to stop a nuclear launch is to either use the detonation code release keys that Merrill's holding, or... Or find the Metal Gear chief engineer that President Baker mentioned, Al Emmerich. In any case, you should contact Merrill by codec. Wasn't her frequency written on the back oh, of the CD okay. case? Yeah, so we need to do that again. Technically, we already did that, but we died afterwards, so do that again. Who are you? I was really impressed. We can just skip through all this. We heard it earlier. And then maybe call the colonel again. X and square together. Oh, because they both skip. This, yeah, yeah, I did have this long ass car conversation with her earlier. She mentions a cargo elevator, but then I say something along the lines of or having a key for an elevator. Oh, that's dialogue skipping too. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's dialogue skipping this one, but. Anyways, and then I say something along the lines of her not being, like, a good enough soldier. And then... Uh, we mentioned the doctor, so Don't I figured worry, I need Colonel. to find the Meryl doctor. Fine. Thank God. Meryl is a very strong woman. I really respect her. She's got plenty of heart. Thanks, Snake. Not so fast. The real mission is still ahead. Okay. Sadly, that didn't help much. Let's check out basement floor two. So there's there's probably one or two of those boxes that we can get in now that we couldn't get in before. Because we do have the better the better key now. It looks like their pattern has changed. Oh shit, shit! Fuck. Forgot about the damn trapdoor. Of course, I stopped right on top of it, too. <laughs> it should have gave us a quick save right there, yeah. Thank God. There we go. Okay, quick the damn card. Okay, can't get in that one. Can go in this one. 
what is it? More C4. Or is this the, this might be the same room that we got the C4 from before, actually. Ooh. My outside, your, oh, your pattern actually changed, like mid. Okay, interesting. This is the one with that stuff. I mean, we might as well grab more ammo since we're while we're here, since it respawned. Okay, wait for this guy to go past. And then... Did we check everything? In the interest of keeping things moving along, I may look up what to do. I'm not going to lie. After we search this one other... Okay, we still can't get in that one. We can get in this one, but we already could. So that's nothing new. Trap door on here somewhere, right? No, maybe not. Okay, that one's locked. We've been in that one. Yeah, so there's nothing else to do here either, as far as I can tell. So there's nothing to do on basement two. There's nothing to do on basement one. We were told that going outside was the wrong move. So that means it has to be floor one. It's the only place left to go. Snake, I unlocked the cargo door. Oh my god. Thanks. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Don't move around too much. We had to leave and come back. I guess because we didn't call her when we were down at the bottom before you won't be for long with the way you walk oh. what does that mean uh, nothing it means we were staring at your ass earlier like an <laughs> it's equipped with infrared sensors be careful if an intruder is sensed gas is released <laughs> gas okay so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building wait you said you'd stay put and be a good girl <laughs> i changed my mind don't get careless that's when things always turn sour sorry but this is the only way I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. All right then, well, <laughs> at least now we know where the hell to go. Vaguely. Not exactly, but we have an idea. Right here, actually, okay. That was, <laughs> that was easy enough. Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them, and the doors will seal off, and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow, you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. What happened? You weren't paying attention? Uh, we left and came back to the same floor that we kept dying on, and I literally didn't move. Anyways, and she gave us a call saying, hey, we, we fixed it for you. Well, we're dead. I don't think there's anything, yeah, anything we can do there. That's fine. <laughs> it's literally right around the corner from the elevator, so we can get right back to it. Uh, okay, so we want to actually pull out our smokes. And I'm assuming we're going to want to be crawling, but... Yes. Infrared sensors, you're doing the thing we told you not to do, good girl, all that stuff, gotcha. What now? Be careful, Snake. Yep. Oh, they go up and down. That's why they didn't trigger right away. That makes sense. 
Please tell me I'm not on it. I'm not good. I was so confused, man. I was like... <laughs> Okay, uh, level two door, we have that card. Thankfully, it's only level two on one end, even though it's level five on the other. You're back? Welcome back. We've hardly made any progress. You didn't miss much. <laughs> Glad to see I finally made it outside. Me too, honestly. <laughs> Me fucking too. Oh, God. Snake, be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. Use a mine detector. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Deep throat. I'd, I'd rather not if that's okay. Game, Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen, there's a tank in front of your position <laughs> waiting to ambush you. Who are you anyway? One of your fans. That's sus. That is sus. That's sus as hell. Have to eat some cookies to. Fucking keep me in it. Okay. So stay away from the mines. I don't think that's going to end well for anybody. What's going on? Time for tank? Oh, God. You can crawl over them and pick them up. That's dope. I'm assuming that'll help in some way. Snakes don't belong in Alaska. I will not let you pass. I mean, that's fair. Send Snakes don't belong in message. Alaska. <laughs> that's right. You belong on the ground. You should crawl on the ground like the snake you are. Is that a hint? <laughs> Come, let's fight. So can I bait him over them? Over the, the mines? Or do I need to just... Or do I need to pick them up? Is that the only way to do it? Where's he even at? Oh, he's right there. Is it... Am I gonna die? <laughs> I feel like he's gonna shoot us, man, any second now. Can he not see us? This might be hard for a first-time player to figure out. Okay, let's, uh, I don't know. If we stand up, I feel like we're dead. So let's just crawl back around to the side here. We picked up all of the claymores. Now, wait, can we... Can we crawl all the way up to him without him noticing us? Or... Or is he going to see us? Explodes when an object is in range. So I feel like we need to get him his attention somehow. Get him to drive past it. He will see you. How fast do his shots work? We're going to do a test real quick. Okay. He fires real fast. <laughs> real freaking fast. Oh, God. So his tank's not moving, though. I feel like we need to get him to move somehow so that we can make him set off the claymores. Hmm. Is he moving yet? No. 
How's he shooting the rock right in front of me? That other rock's definitely between us. Um, well, we picked up all the mines, so let's hold on to the rations so we don't just instantly die. You do have to be right next to him, pretty much. Okay. So maybe it's a timing thing. Going to first person from here, we can. I don't think he can see us. Oh shit! Uh. Hi. Oh god, he's got regular guns too. <laughs> can we go behind this? Not on that side, we can't. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Come on, come on over here, man. Just <laughs> just come on over here for a moment. I really wish we could like the electronics on a tank. Well, now that you mention it. Hey, buddy. Do you want to like come over here just That hit us. It did. Shit. I'm assuming that's gonna be like too far away. Oh wait, did that actually work? No, no it didn't. I need rations like real bad. Thank you. Um. So the electronic jammer thing, does that just work like no matter the distance? It seems like it might. Uh. C4. That's the wrong freaking menu for the C4. Or not C4, Claymore. Come on and get me, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Disables the cannon but not the machine gun. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Okay, there's grenades all over the place, so maybe I can use the grenades then as a way to damage him. Grenades are plentiful as well, yeah. That's what I'm noticing. Where is he, though? It'd be really handy if we could turn the freaking camera, honestly. Uh... Chaff. Wrong one. That's the FAMAS, not the grenade. That's weird. Why aren't the grenades doing any damage? There you go. I mean, it's literally on top of them now. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Can you just come over here a little bit farther? Like, I really just want you to set off some of the claymores, man. I feel like that'd be really helpful. Because it's a frag? I mean, yeah, but... It's a video game. Grenade. There you go. Eat that, dude. Oh, he's out. Can I shoot him now? Oh, no. No, no, no. Okay. Never mind it. Just got another dude. Uh. Chaff. And then. Grenade. Oh, shit. Should probably try not to get ran over. <laughs> Turns out that hurts a lot, too. 
that is that close enough? No, it's not. Is that? There we go. One more. One more. Come on, need another dude to come up. And before I run into one of my own fucking claymores. I don't think that's close enough to work. That might be. Nope. Come on, dude. Come on. Just blow him up. Blow him the hell up. Yes, let's go, dude. Thank God you guys were here to help out, because otherwise that probably would have taken forever. Why are we looking all sentimental? Oh wait, is that one of the boss, I hope you are happy. You got the card. We'll play with him a little longer. You would be wise not to underestimate him. What did you think of him? Is he that liquid? Just as you say. Or no, that's the the In guy. Battle, he is as if possessed by a demon, much like you. I would expect no less. See, I told you so, but I will kill you. So, General Ivan, I hear he took your hand as well as your dignity. Watch your tongue, shaman. In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Well, snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him. He and I will Why? Again. Why not kill him yet? Same prediction as always. Yes, the raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. I mean, this dude's causing like serious problems for you. Why would you not want to just kill him and get it over with? Is what wouldn't that be best for your the whole thing you got going on here? Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, but what the hell are you thinking, dude? Voice act for Raven is the son of the voice act for Baker. That's neat. Got like a, a whole little family thing going on. <laughs> rations, please and thank you. Oh, dope. We can carry three rations now, too. So that just like, over time, do we gain the ability to hold more and more stuff or something like that? BRB, take your time, man. Take your time. We still got another like half hour to go tonight. Okay, so we're here now, but what are we actually doing? We're looking for the code cards. Um, okay. Oh, we can crawl under. I was wondering how the hell we got through here. The giant hole in the bottom might be a hint. Be careful. You the dock. Thank you, thank you. Use weapons in that area. How I'm Rick. Save two. Good, good, good call. To, what? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten? That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Don't you see them? Yeah, there's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here. It's like President Baker said. Totally okay. Careless. They're working. We kind of have to. <laughs> we kind of have to use our weapon now. For the media. We're going to blow up some C4 just it. to see what the hell happens. Knows lots more about it than I do. After we save. Is All of the warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no oh. fear of them exploding. But Lame. if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious Never mind. Problem. That's not as fun. Snake, I was hoping for Big Boom. Use your weapon on that floor. Okay. We're going to save right out here, where it seems to be safe. Uh, Mei Ling. <laughs> it's a story about how Snake gets terminal cancer for exposure to nuclear radiation. Yes. Oh, one thing that I was going to ask, I, I saw you, you mentioned it earlier. So, Metal Gear, like the original, what was it, Nintendo... And whatever the other game was made for, those are related to Metal Gear Solid then? Like, it is it all one big long story? Basically, it means that your desire can get... 
the chemo really hits him in four. Uh, and then we were supposed to call somebody else. Does anybody remember the number that he just told us to call? Was it 14185? No response. No. 14. It's not 14085. No, that's Campbell. Shit. He literally just told us to call a number, and I don't remember what it was. 96? No, that's Mei Ling. Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake are canon to this game. Oh. Yeah, see, I, I was wondering about that, but I did not know that. One of these days, I'll probably end up playing those ones too, then. 14196. No. Damn it, this is what I get for <laughs> having a terrible memory. Metal 14152. There we are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Romanenko. A pleasure to work with you, Solid Snake. You're the nuclear specialist that the colonel mentioned? That's me. You can ask me anything about nukes that you want. I am also a military analyst, so I have an extensive knowledge of weapon systems as well. They asked me to participate in this operation as a supervisor from the nuclear emergency search team. I was happy to accept. We must not allow terrorists to get their hands on nuclear weapons of any kind. <laughs> I hope I can help you to stop them. You're a tough lady. Good old Those Russian stereotype are lady. Serious about launching a nuclear weapon? The world cannot stand by idly and allow that to happen, and neither can I. Unfortunately, all I can do from here is provide you with information. Hopefully that'll be enough. Information's Another power. Here wouldn't make it Let it out. Anyway. It's good to work with you, Nastasha. Snake. That added to our memory? It did. Good. Okay, so whatever we do, don't use weapons. Does that mean no weapons, or can we still use... I'm assuming we can still use, like, the, the EMP and the stun grenades. Just nothing that, like, actually deals damage. So actually, we'll get the, the stun out, because, you know, soldiers and stuff. Oh, no use. No, okay. You can't use any weapons here, period. Okay, so there's a bunch of cameras, so probably just want to go in box mode, man. Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake wasn't released in America originally. Yeah, it was just the uh, just Metal Gear on, P or on PS1. No, on um, Nintendo, right? But I'm assuming that they, that they made a version for America at some point. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. You saw me. Is he going to kick the box over? No. Oh, he actually ignored it. Okay. So I guess in this case, it's like... The box was like, it made sense to be here or something and that's why they ignored it, whereas before they were, like, adamant about what was that noise? kicking the boxes. They're gonna check it this time, because they're already... Just a box. No! Oh, okay. That is, like, scary as hell, man. <laughs> Them coming up to the box. At first, I wasn't that worried, but now, knowing that they can just kick it over and, and pull you out of it, Fuck. Ah, oh, damn. Is it because I'm on the grates? I'm assuming the grates make even more noise than the, the regular floors. Coming this way may have been a mistake. Okay, you're pretty far away now. Yeah, the grate definitely does make more noise than the regular floor. Oh, fuck. Yep, we're all dead. Oh, we got the level 3 card. That must have been from the, uh, from the dude. I don't think there's any way for us to live now, huh? That the, that the shit was fired? 
Yeah, nope. Just GG. Need to pay more attention to the map. Snake, are you okay? Snake? Snake? Snake is not okay. Snake is dead fucking meat, man. Um, okay, box. Excuse me, box, please, nope, not the mine detector, the box. We're fine here. Um... Doesn't seem like there's anywhere to go back there, so I'm guessing we need to go up. Do the cameras notice when the boxes move, or do the cameras just ignore the box entirely? They, like, it's just rats, and they just pretend it doesn't exist, though. <laughs> there's a door. Door seems like a good place to go. Yes, please walk away from door. Level three card. Pretty sure they do notice. Okay. Oh, that's an elevator. Uh, I mean, I guess we might as well just work our way down. Start with basement one. Yeah, I mean, I figured they would, but I just want to make sure. Restroom? Kind of surprised we can't go in there. We can go in there. What's this down here? Another restroom? Yes, but with someone in it. I mean... I kind of have to check. Oop. <laughs> Uh, hi. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> it's because you tried to go in the ladies' restroom. <laughs> yeah. I was just curious. How was I supposed to know it was the women's? They're not going to come back in here, are they? Their their position isn't just chilling in the bathroom, is it? Bro, it is, isn't it? Why <laughs> Why is this your place to hang out, man? Who arms or who has a uh, armed guard securing a restroom? <laughs> just <laughs> has to take a piss every 30 seconds. Come on. This is the world's longest piss, dude. Just go. Please? Do we have any rations left? We do not. Can we use our weapons yet? We can. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> Whenever we uh, were looking in here, there was the, the big pixelated blur. Oh, okay, he's he's leaving. Okay. Oh shit. Okay. It's not quite what I expected. I'm assuming no one comes down the center. You don't think he washed his hands either? Gross, dude. I remember seeing a statistic from somewhere that something like... What was it? Like 
only 30% of men at the time. I'm sure it's changed since then, especially with the pandemic and all that. But something like only 30% of men wash their hands in the after using the restroom. And I'm just like, bro, that's that's freaking nasty. Wash your damn hands, people. <laughs> like, it's not that hard. It only takes a few seconds. It changed to 6%. That's... I hope that's not true. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past people, but fuck, dude. I hope that's not true. Okay, so they do go down. You can see me? I'll be honest. I thought you were down bottom. Not up top. I thought he was going through the center area there. My bad. Especially if you're taking a shit. Yeah, just period. But like, especially. <laughs> like, dude. Is it box time? I don't know. Do you think people will be suspicious of boxes hanging out here? Okay, so we know there's no doors over here. We can... Wash your hands with your own piss? That's disgusting. <laughs> Okay, no. So you just you just go back and forth, don't you? Uh, do we need do we need the card? Okay, we can't get in that one. Can I see the doors from down here? I can't. Oh. We can hide under the desk. If we get... Oh, okay. You do come down here sometimes. Baseball players used to do that sometimes. Was there, like, a reason for it? Did it, like... Increase their grip on the ball or something? Like, what's the... What, why? Remote-controlled missile. Press square to fire. Use directional buttons to tro control after firing. Very cool. Like, I can't imagine you would do that just for the hell of it, you know? Some kind of advantage while playing baseball? Gross. <laughs> like, I know it's technically sterile and all that, but still. Like, bruh. Just not, not into that. Uh, okay, so I, I think there's nothing for us to do on this floor. Besides get that Nikita launcher. Uh, maybe, maybe call the elevator. So let's go down to basement two. Quickly. Elevator, quickly now. Please, please. Elevator. Oh my god. Thank you. Basement two, let's go. If you press the button twice, it shows up immediately. That's neat. Another awesome hint, too. Okay. Empty room. Oh, there's... Is that a window? It is. Can we break the glass? I mean, I'm assuming there's a way around without breaking the glass, but I'm just curious if that's something that's possible to do. Whoa, okay. Press up against the wall on the opposite side of the room, okay. So like right now? Snake, watch out. That place is filled the with one gas. I was just in, oh. Also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's a little late now, I think. On the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote controlled missile. Oh. Well, good thing we went and grabbed that, huh? Now you guys get to see how bad I am at controlling this. Oh, God, no. <laughs> okay. 
That, that doesn't... Why is it going so fast? No! Uh... Oh, shit. North, east, south, west. Okay, so we need to go to the left. North, west. Wait, wait. Wait, north, west wall? What's your O2 gauge? Very low. I'm gonna die. Oh. You said watch your O2 gauge for one, and for two, we can get more O2 that way. Very cool. I wish there was a way <laughs> to control this a little bit more precisely. I don't like it speeding around. No, we're gonna we're gonna run out of fucking Nikita missiles, dude. Do a rocket ride. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait, 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 Uh, try not to blow it up right next to ourselves. That was good. Against the right wall. I don't think it matters which one we press up against, right? It just gives us O2 whenever we're on either one. Know the first room. Oh. Okay. Will do. We'll go back after we inevitably fuck this up again. Oh. Hi. Do they say or do anything? Nope, just paces. Try knocking. I keep forgetting that we can do that. Oh no, they don't seem to care. I'm kind of surprised, honestly. That would have been a cool Easter egg. We are going the right way, right? Is that the right? I feel like I missed it. Now that we're down to three fucking missiles. You almost had it there? What machine was it that I need to actually blow up? Was it the next room? The one that, that's blocked off with glass in the in the first area? Just need to go through one more wall, I'm guessing, or one more door. No. The menacing one. There we go. This is it, right? Yeah, dude. Let's go. Oh, boy. I'm sure no one noticed that happening at all. Oh, to me, please. And maybe go ahead and switch our weapon back to something else. Unfortunately, the gas doesn't go away. Yeah, I'm noticing that. 
But at least now we're not being electrocuted to death, so... Take what we can. Is it worth going in here? What is that? Do we want that? I mean, I guess we might as well, right? Let's go ahead and refill our O2 first, just because, yeah. You can get a gas mask in this area. Okay, maybe that's what was in that room then. So it was the third room. We're going to need the box. Chaff. You don't see me, Mr. Camera. Gas mask. Dope. The camera doesn't set off an alert. It just shoots at you. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I still kind of don't want it to do that either, but... <laughs> but good to know, I suppose. So does that actually refill our oxygen wearing the gas mask? No, it just stops it from going down. Okay. Oh, shit. I need to pull out the card. I'm working on the assumption that there's going to be more doors I'm going to want to open. So I want to refill my O2 in case I have to pull the key card out again. What level is this door? Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, take me back. Take me back. I want to go the other way first. That door's progression. I see that. At least it lets us go through, uh, back through the other way. Oh, God. So many. So many shooty things. Um... Really wish we had... I guess we do have rations. Somehow we didn't get shot at. Okay. Somehow we're still alive. It's fine. Everything is fine. Oh, duh. Da da da. Yeah, no, I'm stupid. I didn't even think of that. I mean, thankfully, it seems like we're fine without it right now. Okay, we don't need the key card anymore, so let's get the gas mask on. And then... Yeah, use the chaff. Oh, so our O2 does still drop whenever we're wearing the gas mask, just a lot slower. I mean, I guess it makes sense, right? Can't 100% filter out everything. Just helps. There we go. That sounds good. Whatever's going on in the next room over, I'm sure it's fine. Okay. Oh, that's... I mean, it's just a chaff, I guess. It won't hurt anything, but it's not what I meant to do either. Yeah, this looks nice. This crazy ninja bro. Like they were cut by some type of crazy blade. ninja bro. Oh god, he's gonna be inv invisible too, isn't he? It's a ghost. Uh, maybe pull out a weapon of some sort, <laughs> and of course, it won't let us use the Nikita here. So I would love to just send the rocket around the corner and let it do the work for us. <laughs> I 
Can we, like, drip some blood on him so we can see him as he's running around? Or is he still on our side? Kind of. Oh good, the jamming's over. Another random red dot. So because are you still alive? You do seem to be moving a lot. Oh, you're still alive. That's why it's should I I don't know. We'll just go. <laughs> Like, should I, should I finish him off? Put him out of his misery? Stop him from going and telling anyone what happened here? I don't know. <laughs> Doctor dude, honestly, I get it. Camouflage? Who are you? Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? Oh, what next? Way to give me away, dude. Snake. You're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. Cyborg ninja. Sounds about right. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy the moment. What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. <laughs> I've come from another world to do battle with you. What is it, revenge? It is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respite. I will kill you, or you will kill me. Guy's the same voice actor as the DARPA chief. They really made good use of the actors they had, huh? Fine. He can watch from inside there. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. Okay, you're a cyborg ninja. So, are you immune to chaff? Or no, ow. Okay, that did seem to freeze you, but sadly, okay, I was gonna say, sadly I can't change out my freaking things. Oh, maybe we could use some claymores too, I don't know. For now though, let's just fucking shoot, shoot him, please. Can we, can we put down the, the claymore? Did I? Oh, did I cl click the wrong one? A oh, weapons only work if you use chaff on him. Okay. In that case, then, otherwise you gotta fight him hand to hand. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> so putting down the claymores is gonna be pretty pointless then? I get a dope ass sword for this? Oh, he's putting away his sword, okay. I'd actually kind of prefer using chaff against you, I'm not gonna lie. If that's okay. Ow. <laughs> There's got to be some sort of trick to this, man. Uh, excuse me, sir. 
Oh my god. What do you mean, such a weapon? I'm using hand-to-hand, -hand, dude. Fuck. We're dead. What's the trick here? Because that's obviously not doing a whole lot of damage to him. Do the stun grenades have any effect on him? No. Well, shit, man. Just chaff. And of course, we only have two uses of it. I mean, we might as well use the two that we have so we can do some damage. First person after chaff? Now, make me feel it. Make me I don't think we can first person shoot in this game, can we? At least I wasn't able to figure out a way to do it. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to throw both of them. Well, that's not gonna help us out much. Yeah, no, not in this one, sadly. Uh, apparently, I can't shoot him at all. Freaking dude, <laughs> what? what just happened? Shoot the damn dude. Okay, well, that was useless. Lady, look. Seems so repetitive, really? I haven't really felt that way yet. To be honest with you, Rue. Some bullets. More rations, actually? That's that's pretty helpful. Oh, good job missing every single freaking kick. Damn, we both missed each other. <laughs> Stop doing ninja shit, dude, and just fight me. <laughs> just fisticuffs like a man. <laughs> Come on. Damn, dude. Try to hit him when he's not doing his combos. What do we do whenever, like, that... How do we deal with that sword attack thing. Get up, snake. Can we just, like, stunlock him in this area? No. Okay. Gotta be careful with that. Damn it. Okay, so we know where that other ration is. We can deal a little bit of damage to him if we just hurry up and not waste our two chavs and then completely miss <laughs> with our gun. Now, I don't want to watch the cutscene again. I'll, I'll do my best, Mr. Ninja, sir. Ow. Let me switch weapons. Please, let me switch weapons. Will a grenade work now? I don't know, but we're going to try it. No, it didn't do shit. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I've heard you say this. I mean, look. 
when I'm going up against a literal ninja, I think I would rather put my uh, faith in a weapon than a fucking hand-to-hand <laughs> -hand combat. Like, the cutscene made you waste that chaff. Yeah, I noticed. Okay, keeping him in close quarters like this actually seems to be a benefit. Damn it, come back here. We just have to watch for that right there whenever he goes up in the air and... Ow. Where are you at? Damn it. So I have both our rations though, so that's okay. <laughs> I need to gauge the amount of space that we have a little bit better um, to to attack with. I keep attacking from too far away, and that's not doing us any damn good. Where are you coming in at? Right there. Damn it, dude. Come on. like 16 more times and then then we're good damn come on back halfway there he got us we're not dead though there we go oh now what? Hurry up and catch me. Oh, fuck no. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't trust this. I'm surprised we actually hit him. Are you going to come back over here? Do we have to come to you? No, you're coming back over here. Good. So we can just keep doing the same thing, basically. I like this little hallway right here. It feels, feels safe, man. This is my comfort hallway. <laughs> there we go. Stop running away, you bastard. <laughs> Wanted to stand and fight? Now fight. Wait, why is he walking? Why is... That's, that's so much scarier than... Oh, if he can fucking teleport now? What was that? His health drops to zero. Make sure you're not too close to him. Okay. Stop going to the wall, dude. Oh, God. That's it. I remember that punch. Get back up. Get back up. Do you remember, Snake? No, I don't remember. <laughs> I have no idea who you are. Aw, oh, damn it. Oh, that punch really hurt, too. Run away, run away. Oh, shit, that was scary. Aw, oh, what? Oh, damn, I'm scared to do a combo because if I do a combo, I might get stuck in place and then get fucked up. We only got one more hit left in us, and then we're dead. And I really don't want to die after all this. <laughs> okay, come on. Just a couple more. A couple more.
Okay, one more combo, I think. Hey, Mr. Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. Okay, uh, don't stand too close to him and shoot him, you said. That was too close? I... I thought that was plenty of room. Oh my god, that fight took so long. Okay, an ad's about to start. We're gonna go to the break screen, but then we're gonna finish this, and then we'll be right back. <laughs> Sounds kind of funny, and hey, that's okay. Let's check it out. Yeah, so, like, the whole thing with it, I, it's like a cartoony, um somewhat suggestive game like just going off of what i've seen on the character or on the character on the the cover of the box it's like there you go you can kind of see it there right it's like heavily cartoony but also edgy <laughs> like so yeah me stream that game you're not allowed to play and until i join the stream <laughs> you got it rue no problem i do always put vods of all of my stuff up on youtube as well so Anytime I play something that maybe you would want to see, it's not as fun as being there in person, in my opinion, but I do always put VODs up on YouTube, so they're there. I, I don't really expect many people to watch, you know, two hour, one hour, one to four hour live streams on YouTube, but eh, just in case, I always do put them up. He can travel 12 years back from whatever the current date, and he is trying to stop the gang from becoming evil and prevent the death of the only girlfriend he ever had. That does sound pretty cool, man. I'm not going to lie. I'll have to... uh I'll have to give it a, a look at sometime. What'd you say it's called again? Tokyo Revengers? Yeah, I have to try to remember that. All right, let's just get into the normal adventure mode, because I, I imagine this is, yeah, learn the story and unlock tracks and hidden character. Yeah, we'll do that. The squirrel game on N64. Uh, crap. I the, I know exact Conquer. Conquer's bad for a day. <laughs> I, uh, I was going to say, like, I knew what it was. I had one of the Conquer games on Game Boy. I, I can't remember the name of it. It was it was a little more tame than Bad for a Day, if I remember correctly. But, yeah. <laughs> You've been mean to catch up on some of the other streams? Yeah, I mean, they're all there if you ever want to. Like I said, it's, uh, it's not as fun, in my opinion. Not being able to interact with everybody else and whatnot. But they're there in case there's a game anybody's interested in or whatever. That specific YouTube channel, I've put zero work into <laughs> outside of uploading VODs. Um, like, I haven't even put a, a any sort of profile picture or anything on it. It's just, uh, I used to upload everything to one channel, and then at one point I decided I was going to try to do more engaging content on the main channel. But around that same time, on the main channel, I mean, and then around that same time, though, I, I kind of ran out of time to do anything. So, uh, that turned into that channel just being dead, and then the VOD channel just getting VODs, so... <laughs> I don't know if it was necessarily the best move, but yeah, whatever. So we got Tracy Torpedoes, Mick Bungadoo, okay, Holly Achi. I feel like that's probably some sort of uh, thing that I don't understand. Uh, -huh. Johnny Turbine, I mean, he looks cool, and Myrna Bookbottom. Okay, what? Who do we think we should go for? Myrna Book Bookbottom, Johnny Turbine, Polly Achi. Tracy Torpedoes, Mick Bungadoo, and Tracy... Oh, wait, no. No, we, we said her twice. You watch it on HBO Max. Wait, is it a, a a show or a movie, Nate? Tokyo Revengers? Like, has it been adapted from the manga? I agree with that. It's way more fun when you get to talk to you guys. Also, what's this time travel thing? It sounds interesting. That's what I'm, I'm trying to get more details out of him. <laughs> he's also working at the moment, though. He's door dashing, so... He's, uh, he's a little busy. I, I understand him not being able to type out too much at one time. But Book Bottom, she was my personal favorite too, but, you know. <laughs> Are you ready? Uh, give me give me like another five minutes, Mr. Noodle, if you don't mind. I've been talking, not finishing my, my lozenge. <laughs> yeah, let's go for Book Bottom. I like Book Bottom. Bigfoot Mountain, Fly Scenic, Canada. Avoid killer attacks. Attack geese. Killer attack geese. All right, we're back. <laughs> we are going to kill this guy. I didn't want to actually do the fight off camera, but I wanted to at least get it back and uh, get back into it. Cause yeah, of course we take a hit as soon as we get in. Son of a bitch. I thought maybe we could we could avoid it. 
no, get off the damn, you dumbass, get off the damn wall, snake. I promise you that wall is not going to protect you for shit. You cheated. You cheated. Trust me, we've heard it all before, cyborg. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come come in my little room. This is this is our fighting room. It's the only somewhat safe space here. Is he is he not gonna join us? Did that did the chaff work? Okay, if it did work, it's not I still can't shoot him for some reason, so whatever. Screw the chaff. I honestly like I find it hard to believe myself that we actually or I actually lived not lived. Um uh, won that slots, man. I think that's the first time, maybe second time. It's pretty rare. <laughs> anyone wins those slots. I was just doing it because I had so many damn points. I was like, screw it, man. I'll uh, I'll just get rid of some points by throwing it in the slot machine. And shit, it actually went through. Come on. Why are you... Last time he had no problem coming in here, man. Is it because the windows are still up? Oh my god. He's actually kicking our ass. Come on. Come back around, bro. Where are you at? Damn it. Why is it not working now? I think maybe we need to get his life a little bit lower before we hide in there. There you go, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw me, you saw me, come in here. What are you doing, man? I liked you a lot more whenever you fought me in the room where I could actually kill you. <laughs> I'm not even using the weapons, get over yourself, asshole. Yeah, we're so screwed. Honestly, just kill me so we can start the fight over again, like. Thank you. We're killing this dude, man. The stream was supposed to end a minute ago, but we're killing this damn dude. We were so close. I'm so mad <laughs> that we freaking died right at the end. And we even had the warning, like, to stay the hell away from him. I thought I had it, too. Like, I even remembered that you told me that, so I took a few steps back before I shot him. But nah, wasn't enough, I guess. Oh my god. That, that was terrible on my part. Okay, there we go. Got a hit out on him. Yes, walk in here. Why did you not do that last time? He like completely refused to walk in here. I wish we could skip this one cutscene. This one cutscene is <laughs> annoying the hell out of me. Come on, get in here. Is it because I was holding a gun? Maybe now that I put the gun away, he'll uh, be a little more inclined uh, to come in and fight. You never take Kyrie's heart. <laughs> uh. Ah, come on, bastard. Get back here. Yeah, I wonder if it was because we were holding a gun. Ah, oh, what? I thought we were safe. I thought we were out of the... the... There we 
There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, dude. I got really scared. I thought we were too close. Damn it. I walked right into it. What? Come on. Damn it. Get off the wall, you dumbass. Fuck. Get back in here. I like you better when you're slow. Can we can we get you down to that point to where you're super slow again? Come on, teleport away. Teleport away and become a bitch. That's good snake. Hurry up and catch me. His punches seem to do a lot more damage at that point, but he had a uh, more predictable pattern, I feel like. Okay, I hear him. That's good steak. Damn it. I'm here, snake. No, you're not. There you are. The annoying part is, is that we lost our rations and we can't get hit. If we get hit twice, we're dead. If we get hit once, then maybe we're we'll alive. Maybe. Hey, you are still here. You missed it, man. I won the slot machine. On a random bet of 5,000. Alright, asshole, get over here. Which way are you coming? Coming through the regular door? Yes, you are. Okay, can't take no hits. If we take a hit, we're dead. We're doing some work on the house. I got you, bro. Wait, is that a ration by any chance? No, it's a chaff grenade. I mean, chaff grenades are nice and all, but it's not really what I want, <laughs> you know? I would kill for just a ration or two right now. Get off the damn wall. Okay, so he's down to the double teleport now. Good to know. Shut up. Just just stop talking. <laughs> Wait, you only teleported once that time. There we go. You're on the edge of your seat? Me too, man. <laughs> I'm so freaking... Okay, so he teleported once. Now this time, is he going to teleport twice? Yep. All right, he has a predictable pattern. We'll exploit it. I'm always going to wait for the two teleports just to be safe, though. Even though it seems like it's the same pattern of, of teleport once, teleport twice. And then apparently we need to get the hell away, like really far away. There we go. Okay. Oh, God. He's a lot closer than I expected. Where is he at? I can't see him. Okay, we hit him, I think. Hurt me more. 
I, I'm scared to shoot him. I don't know where we're gonna die at. Okay, there we go. I think we hit him. What about chaff grenade? That didn't seem to do shit, sadly. Should be good to get closer to him now. Oh, thank God. Oh, boy. I was worried as hell. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Sorry I couldn't join the, the heist. I really wanted to, but yeah. I was scared as shit. Can't be. You were killed in Zanzibar. What? Not again. What's happening? Something good for you, at least. <laughs> Does the doctor know something? Okay, that wasn't creepy as shit or anything. That dude looks Gray insane. <laughs> like... That ninja is Gray Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You of all people should know he died in Zanzibar. No. He should have died, but he didn't. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard <laughs> Totally that. normal individual, yeah. It happened right after okay. he retired. Totally the is. Predecessor, Dr. Clark was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about oh, this Oh, no soldier? shit. Okay. Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And that was Gray Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they So hence the whole came back from thing. another world sort of thing. Because he was dead, but got revived. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? It's always Naomi, confidential information. What happened to Gray Fox <sighs> after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure. I he mean, yeah, IRL, that's a pretty good reason, but we'll <laughs> it's also it. awfully convenient. So you'll fight again until you kill him? Huh. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. How long are you going to stay in there? Noodle, 20 that? bits. Thank you so much, love. No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Oh my god. Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. <laughs> he was shouting at me more. <laughs> Your uniform is I mean, that's true, theirs. he was. <laughs> the Metal Gear he seemed to enjoy it a little bit. I don't know. Right. You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh, so you're here to rescue me. Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Only five oh. went in the cup. It's better than none. You're not one of them. Huh. Are you hurt? Oh, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Me 
Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Fire! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Even on, like, easy nuclear? mode, he couldn't make it this far? What are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, That's hilarious, you're wrong. man. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't He's like, know. I just want to hear my work, that's all. No. <laughs> well, the armament was built by a separate department, and the president personally supervised the final assembly of the main unit. At least now he can look it up on YouTube, right? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a rail gun. Some more classified information, of course. Yep. <laughs> a rail gun, you said. Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniature modest arsenal, in a yeah. joint venture between Arms Tech okay. and Rivermore National Labs. Modest. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Fun fact, the U.S. Yeah. had, uh... But that's not all I think. Air to air if nuclear Gear missiles. Fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have that all the were data they need. possible to launch without the approval of no. like the president and all that Could BS. It, it was the only nuclear warheads Metal that Gear's could be fired off without uh, national lab permission from you know all of the highest people in the army. They were using Nova and NIF laser. I don't think they use them anymore. I don't think. Well, they never actually had to use them, but I don't so think they're in, in service anymore. But yeah, the idea was around. that if the America was ever attacked yes, but you can't use by a uh, fleet of battlefield, they would need actual launch data. Fucking airplanes. These are some of the supercomputers. Whatever the hell they're called, but <laughs> <in a virtual laughs> fighter but fighter jets. There we go. So that uh, they wouldn't have the time to get away to from a thing. nuclear bomb going off in the air, like. What did our president do? If the terrorists launched that thing, <sighs> damn. The maneuver that required, like the the aircraft that carried the I'm missile into the fool. air and fired it off, the maneuver they had to pull fault. to get away from it in time before it would would explode, roughly twelve seconds later, uh, was damn is, near deadly in and of itself. My but, grandfather yeah. was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father, he was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Something like that. Metal Gear. Three generations Snake. of Emmerich men. Whatever. <laughs> we must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But the one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind. It's just in the movies. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Oh, really? <laughs> Rex is in the underground maintenance uh, base. I didn't realize that. that. North of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too. Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Merrill's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I mean, wouldn't 
destroying your your weapon so be better than letting a group of, that leg of yours, you'll just terrorists launch nuclear missiles? I mean, I don't. <laughs> hmm. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. How am I supposed to escape from an island? Uh, okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. Same tech the ninja used. Imagine that. Mm -hmm. Foxhound was going to use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good, but I want Meryl to watch after you too. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is. Over there. <gasps> oh no! Damn, they spotted me. <laughs> Meryl. What happened? Well, GG Meryl. Something's it's nice wrong. knowing you and all. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... She was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. I mean, we knew that already. Did we not? Disguise? She had such a cute way of walking. She kind of wiggles Oh, we're behind. just now putting it together? Looking. Well, she's got a very cute behind. Way of walking, huh? If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? <laughs> Couple of so horn dogs? Dense. Yeah. Yeah, they are. <laughs> I think maybe Here, uh, Hideo Kojima was a bit of a horn dog. <laughs> I'm just it's throwing that out there. Four. Oh, God. He's about You're to die now, isn't he? Are you? Feel okay? Nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all was. <laughs> no, nothing. I'm glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. Your bad luck. Forget it, doctor. Call me Otakon. Otakon? It stands for Otaku Convention. And Otaku's <laughs> a guy like God. me who likes Japan animation. <laughs> Japan animation? First country to Not even anime. Just <laughs> robots. <laughs> Oh They're god. Still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. Otakon, a legend I didn't is born. Get into science to make nuclear oh, weapons. Fuck me. That's what all scientists say. I became a scientist <laughs> because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. It just sounds like a childish excuse to me. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has always thrived on war. Greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be famous. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. I'm not Ask convinced he does. <laughs> Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. That's pretty helpful, actually. Thank I'm you. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. 141.12. Hopefully it saves that to the memory. I mean, I guess I could write it down real quick, too, just in case. 141.12. Got it. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and save. We're 22 minutes over. <laughs> or get in the locker and give Snake the game. Actually, you know what? I like that idea. Hey, Max McBrush. Thank you so much for the follow, man. Uh, but like I was saying, that is it for tonight. We're going to save real quick before I forget. Uh, what is today? Today's Wednesday. So tomorrow, Thursday, we'll be playing some PS2 stuff, whatever that ends up being. Random. Uh, Friday night, we'll be playing some RimWorld. Saturday, we're off. Sunday will be the podcast. Monday off. Tuesday, PS2. And then Wednesday, we'll be back with more Metal Gear Solid. The plan is is to stream this game every Wednesday until we beat the game. Except for in like three weeks. Three-ish weeks, I'll, I'll have a day off. Um, 
because um, I'm taking a mini vacation with Mr. Noodle. We're getting away for a few days because holy hell, man, do I need it. But uh, anyways, guys, as far as tonight goes, thank you all so much for coming and hanging out with me for for a bit while we uh, started up Metal Gear Solid. I hope to see you guys next time. Have a good night. As always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye. In dangerous icicle-laden caves. We can do that.